hello beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel um my name is choma mbachu in case you're seeing this face for the first time um i am an nigerian youtuber based here in canada and on this channel i vlog about my experience in canada and as well as i share relevant information to people that are looking to migrate to canada yeah and if you're a returning subscriber you guys already know the drill thank you so much for always stopping back i have so much respect for you guys thank you thank you and thank you in today's video i'm going to be sharing with you every details that you need to know about express entry um all you need to know about express entry and the provincial nominee program and if this sounds good to you do definitely stick around <music> welcome back welcome back welcome back yeah and um in my previous video i talked about the five easiest ways that you can migrate to canada and one of which is coming in through as, as a student where you get your study permit and then voila you're in canada but then in today's video i'm going to be talking about how you can come in using the express entry route let me put a disclaimer out there I am not an immigration consultant, so I am just nobody, okay? I'm just giving you this information based on my own research, and it's best you make your own research when making immigration decisions, okay? Now, first and foremost, what I usually tell people is you, you make your own research. You have to be detailed-oriented, pay eyes, and pay attention to details like um, let's Google be your friend. That's what I often tell people. Let's Google be your friend. With this process, you can actually do it yourself. You don't even need anyone or pay anybody. You know, I, fine if you have the money, you can go through um, using agent. But I often tell people if you have the time and if you have the resource, you have the computer, you have everything. You know, you can do it yourself. First thing is doing your research, like. You got to know everything as regards express entry now after you've gathered the research you now know that express entry is a point-based system whereby everything all your achievements gives you points your age gives you points your work experience gives you points and um your educational degree gives you points and your english proficiency or your language proficiency gives you points right now let's talk about how do you even know you are eligible so what you need to do is first of all before you even go into the process check if you are eligible and you can check using the crs calculator you know the comprehensive ranking system you can use the calculator in the canadian website to check for your eligibility it is free you don't have to um be worried about that just that means before you even enter you should know the points that you need to be able to enter into the pool that is the point for you checking your eligibility you have to be sure that yes this is the point that i need even before you enter you will know this is the kind of point that will help me stand the chance of entering into the pool or this is the point that is going to help me get the invitation to apply now how do you check for your eligibility the first thing is i said is a point based right your um level of education gives you points how this works is if you have your bsc or your hnd there's a point for that but it is better when you have your maybe your msc you have your masters that's kind of give you a higher point and maybe you are now a guru in education maybe you now have your phd you get the maximum score at regards educational degree you get so that is just that about your educational degree the next eligibility check is your um work experience you need at least a year of work experience there is point for one year of work experience there is higher points when you have two years of work experience and it's now best when you have up to three years of work experience you get the maximum score as regards um work experience even though you have worked five years ten years you will get the maximum score that the person that worked for three years is getting i don't know if that's make any sense so you get a maximum score as soon as you have you have worked 
um, up to three years. Yeah, that is for that with um, work experience. And um, another thing is why they really want your work experience is they want to be sure that when you come here, you you will be useful to the system right they will not give you any points at all if you if you don't have any work experience they want to be yes you are coming from your own country you must have developed your own home country while they would need you to come and develop their own country right the point is to get a federal skill worker the point is to get people that have skills right to come and um improve and contribute to the economic system so they have to be sure that yes you have contributed in your own home country before coming to their own country right that is for that and also another eligibility criteria is your age guys your age can still matter that is why when you want to start this um canadian journey you just close your eyes and start it don't waste any time because your age is counting you get now how this works is if you're in your 20s you get the maximum score like from 30 below you get the maximum score but anything above 30 they start deducting points they start deducting five points five points as you get older so that can make your your what's it called your score reduce a little so you might want to start this journey you might want to start this process as soon as possible without wasting any more time right because you know that your age still influences your point because they want young people to come into canada that is why they kind of favor people that are um that are young that are in their 20s more than people that are above 30. so that is for that another eligibility check is the canadian language benchmark this is just to prove that when you get here you can be able to relate with everyone in the society without having any challenge so basically if you're going to participate in this express century program you have to sit for um an english proficiency test or french proficiency test basically you're going to sit for a language proficiency test whereby it is not negotiable there's nothing you can do about that if you have to participate you have to sit for this test and the most popular one um, among the uh, english test is the IELTS. okay so you have to sit for um, an IELTS screening and for the purpose of express entry you have to sit for IELTS general there are two types of IELTS program there's IELTS academic and there is IELTS general the one that is the general is the ones that concerns you there are four critical models which are um, your listening your writing reading and speaking and amongst the four your reading and listening you have to pay more attention because that can give you high points you have to have nothing less than you know 8.5 or 8.0 at least but you can even try your best and have nine if possible right and you have to target 7.5 at least for your writing and speaking you can even aim higher depends on how many points you need to be able to get into the pool so if you even get higher the better for you right so i often advise people to try and study for this program it is english right you will say english is simple you're not going to fail it a lot of persons keep failing it okay so it is best when you prepare for this um exam and as well if you if you are bilingual it gives you more points because if you can speak french and you can speak um english you sit for the theft canada it's gonna give you higher points it's gonna give you higher points to be able to um sit for those two exams so if you are um if you happen to understand french bonjour mon ami <laughs> bonjour mamzelles so it is best you you know seats for the both of them because it's going to help increase and boost your point okay so let's let's say you're trying to still calculate your score you know using the self-evaluation calculator you kind of give yourself a point 
with the eye yet just score yourself do as if you have written the exam score yourself and know what you need for your eye yet score that will give you an idea of the points that you need to be able to be eligible you know this is the only thing that you can influence. You can't change your work experience within space of time. You can't change your age. You can't change, you know, your educational degree within small space of time. Because when you are starting this process, it's as if you are starting it within months, right? So it's only your IELTS or your English proficiency. That is what you have influence over. That is what you would want to work on. To be able to you know get more points and there are other things that can still give you more points with this process which is having a sibling in canada i think that gives you another point you know before you know it you are going high it gives you a boost in your points and this process we're talking about is still the same with provincial nominee program it is just that it is not done um, with the federal government right it is with the provincial government and everything you need is still this age your educational degree um work experience and IET exam but the only thing is once a province nominates you you have to stay in that province it is not like um express century where you can move to anywhere in canada you can choose to relocate to anywhere in canada when you get to canada but for provincial nominee program you have to live in that province for at least two to three years before you can be able to you know change or relocate from that province and you know staying in canada at least for up to three years you are eligible already to apply for canadian citizen you can just wait and apply for citizenship and then if you want to relocate you can choose to relocate and leave the province but the thing is the difference is you have to live in the province why for express century you can live anywhere and the good thing about provincial nominee program is you are sure you are getting it once a province happens to nominate you because they are going to give you their own points that makes you to even stand out like there is nothing that is going to hold you back it is just oh yeah we'll get ready you know they're coming to canada right because they give you extra 600 points and which is basically everything that you need you know if you now combine every of your um score from express entry it, this, that one will not be like a bonus a huge bonus for you so that is that um the next step is your eca eca means your um educational credential assessment okay um this is for them to be able to you know you've gotten your degree and all of that they have to evaluate it into the canadian standard so there are a number of bodies that does this evaluation there are lots of them they have the west the icas but the most popular of them is the west a lot of persons use west so basically you have to send your transcript of your highest educational degree if you've gotten phd or you've gotten master the one that is the highest which is obviously the phd or if you are gotten your bsc and your msc meaning your msc is the one you're going to evaluate this is for them to be sure that it measures up with the canadian equivalency to be able to measure up with the canadian standard right so they have to evaluate your credentials and how this is done is you have to go to your school um trust me you're not the first they understand okay um once you get to your school you, you tell them you want to send your credential to west I'm going to leave a link for um, West, so you might be able to check them out if you want to evaluate your transcript. But then you, you go to your school and tell them you need to send your credentials to West. Um, I think you're going to pay them some amount of money for Korea service. Obviously, it's not free. <laughs> so um, you're going to say they are going to they are going to be the ones to send it to west west don't want it to come from you they want it to come from your school so your school will be the one to send it to west keep pressuring your school because some persons they got stuck in that point whereby the school gets to delay them they don't even send it to west blah 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 so just you know be on their neck always check on them and then when it gets to west west will send you a confirmation and 
they will give you a tracking number and with that you know it takes like um two to three months or less to evaluate your results and why they are evaluating your results what do you do yes you have to go and sit for your IELTS test now why i said this is since it takes them like two to three months to be able to get your results evaluated it is best you sit for IELTS, which is just going to be like within two weeks or more for the results to be out. Then you still have a lot of time to still study and prepare for your IELTS screening. All right. So that when your evaluation is coming out, you are still having your, your IELTS results handy. Okay. The beautiful part of this is that your worst evaluation can last you for up to five years while your um IELTS results can last you for up to like as long as two years so you don't have to keep repeating it all the time pay money to go and be doing these things all the time right so within the that frame you can be able to you know use it to do what you want to do use it to get into the pool for express entry so you will need your IELTS results and your evaluated credentials to like you will need them handy to be able to create an express entry profile okay so let's say you've gathered all your documents you've gathered everything and now you now know that with all your score with all your points from here 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 you are uh, you stand a chance go for it if you stand a chance maybe because um the canadian government they conduct draws you know bi-weekly like every two weeks they conduct draws this is just like um i don't know how to put this like you want to write your jump like for my for my nigerian folks you want to write your jump and you know the the cutoff for the school can be maybe um 200 as soon as you have 200 from your jump score you are eligible to you know go for that for the for the screening like you pass your jam that's what that means but that is just how this express entry is the canadian government can put a draw and say um it is 470 or it is 471 or you know it varies okay it's very they can re reduce it they can increase it it depends right because there are lots of persons in the world that is going through this process yeah i know canada is big and is big enough to accommodate everyone right but then it varies and then you will know if you stand a chance by using that calculator right and then when you now use the calculator um the self-evaluation calculator you see that you stand a chance you go for it you create um an express entry profile now how do you create an express entry profile you go to the ircc website that is the canadian website you you click on express entry then you click on create a profile it's going to take you to where you have to sign in or sign up for gc key so you sign up for gc key you go ahead and you know create your profile and you enter into the pool of eligible candidates for express entry what this pool means is there are lots of people that are you know interested in this express entry and they have a lot of persons have, have scores that are higher than yours and some lower than yours. But maybe the, the draw is, like I said, 470 and then you, you score 480. You know you are entering the pool, right? Or you score 475, you know you are entering the pool. But then priority is being given to people that scored higher right so your 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 aim is always to score higher is to have um a high score that will put you in the chance of getting an invitation to apply so when creating your profile you have to put your email you know just you shall put everything that is necessary that they will use in contacting you and maybe hopefully you start praying yes god please let them contact me let them send me that sweet email and eventually you get selected like congratulations you know you have been invited to apply for permanent residence in canada and then this is another process entirely you start gathering all you need this is where you start spending a lot of money the one that you spend 
with evaluation and i yet that one is just there this is where the real money you are going to prove that you have money because you are going to show a proof of funds now what this proof of funds means is it is your own money that have to be sitting in your own account for the last 90 days proof of funds varies with different persons with different application okay first this application takes 90 days for you to complete it so you have to start gathering your document okay don't waste any single time that gathering things you do your um what's it called your biometrics you do your police clearance where you have to do a police criminal record check because you have to be criminal free or have I don't know, you don't you will not have any you know criminal records while applying for this process okay and then you have to do your medicals where they go they check certain parts of your body they have to be sure that you are healthy you don't have any you know critical ailments you know just that is just that and you have to do that in a designated um hospital you know they, they have the particular hospital that you have to do it they don't do it in every hospital so that is for that and as well when i say proof of funds varies is that it depends on the number of family if it's a single person it is less if it's a family of two it increases if it's a family of three family of five that's how it starts increasing this is just for them to be sure that when you arrive in canada you will have something to take care of yourself for the time being while you you, you know look for a job while you navigate yourself around the system you know why you get a house you know be able to feed yourself for the time being till you settle in the country right so that is that's with your proof of funds and it is not small money it's usually big money so you have to get that you have to check with the list there's usually a checklist of everything that you need to submit pay attention to details don't miss anything make sure everything that is required is what you bundle and give them okay so after you have applied this is where another weight begins ah this is where the prayers the fasting and kabashing begins because the process is supposed to take like six months you know or less but then some persons it can take more than six months can take up to a year so it can be really frustrating trying to wait on the response for them one thing is being able to get your points to be able to enter the pool another thing is eventually you get your invitation to apply your ita and another thing that is now the most worry is getting your um, application approved so eventually you get your application approved wow this one is now congratulations you know you've gotten the visa for permanent resident okay you get your confirmation of permanent resident wherever you are they will send it to you and then first you have to send your what's it called passport to um the embassy in ghana where they have to stamp it and then voila before you know it you are in canada so we have come to the end of this video i hope you learned one or two i hope it is detailed and informative enough please 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 all i need for you is to, for you to subscribe you guys please subscribe to my channel all right thank you so much i truly appreciate you if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and you know put if there's anything you don't understand put it in the comment section i'll be here to explain for that and as well i'll be leaving relevant links that you would be needing as regards this process to check your eligibility to create your express entry profile to evaluate your result um IET, um program everything as regards this process i'm going to be leaving the link in the description box below so you might want to check that out and also you can go ahead and check um if you are eligible to come and you know study in canada you can also come in through the student route just as express entry is one of the surest way to get a canadian visa you know and even permanent resident that is how it is still good coming in as an international student so you might want to check that video that i made as regards international students for now thank you for watching bye bye